So for our networks project, we wanted to create a little web app that would allow people to get together and collaboratively compose a tweet in real time. So we threw something together with a node as our backend and sockets, socket.io um, to do the networking uh, because that works a little bit better and lends itself a little more uh, efficiently to real-time apps than a traditional REST API. Um, we got it hosted here at tweetwith.me. We even got a new domain name for it. Um, as you can see, somebody's on here. Um, Clicking away at the buttons, you can see I'm not doing anything with my mouse, uh, and you can see the flashing input that they are appending to this. Uh, so how it works is uh, it's on an interval right here of 10 seconds where all of the votes get aggregated down here in the little graph, and at the end, the character with the most votes is appended to the tweet. Um, and the way that it actually hooks up with the um, Twitter API is uh, if enough people go on and spam the tweet option, it'll go ahead and uh, authenticate with OAuth with Twitter and post it, which is what just happened. If we look at the Twitter account that we set up, uh, we can see it right there already. Um, so let's take a look at the code. We have the front end component. Uh, you can see the binding right here that um, listens for events on the server. We had to get over a little hump of syncing up uh, newly connected users uh, with a general hash of the uh, data on the server so that they could have a fully rendered view when they first load the page. And we also had to make it so that users could communicate with the server, which was through socket.emit. On the back end, you can kind of see it here. Uh, we listened for tweet input, which is um, socket events from the user, and log that in our uh, voting hash. And then on the server itself, we have an interval that um, every, every second goes in and checks if the uh, voting time is up and will come in and either append the tweet, append to the tweet, or uh, post to Twitter. And you asked if, or how we would deal with concurrency in our first meeting. Um, before we had a system that we proposed where every piece of user input would be appended on the spot, and we implemented the voting system so that if, for example, two people press the same key at the same time, it wouldn't be appended immediately in some random order. Um, instead, we would look at this interval, and it would be an atomic operation to Redis, which is our back-end data store. Um, and it would basically be all on the server's shoulders to handle that concurrency issue. And we think it was a pretty elegant solution. We got a pretty nice looking app working. It's running live right now at tweetwith.me. Come check it out. Look, there's some leaves now.